Energy will never cease to be a concern for human beings, so long as our species plans to keep growing and expanding. There is no shortage of scientists and engineers who are trying to come up with a solution that might help us avoid a catastrophic energy shortage. Some of these ideas seem pretty feasible, such as switching to renewables like wind and solar. Some are incredibly far-fetched and probably impossible, like cold fusion. And then there are some ideas which are downright bonkers but if true, could essentially change everything we know and love about human civilization. Zero point energy also known as a ground state energy could be the greatest gift the quantum world can ever give us. It is a byproduct of the fact that subatomic particles don't really behave like single particles but like waves constantly flitting between different energy states. This means even the seemingly empty vacuum of space is actually a rolling sea of virtual particles fluctuating in and out of existence. And all those fluctuations require energy. If there is as much energy in those fluctuations as some though definitely not all physicists believe in. And if we could ever learn how to tap into this phenomena, we would gain access to an unparable source of energy. Zero point energy could power the planet with the strength of multiple suns, making it easy for us to solve Earth's energy problem forever or to travel beyond the solar system and take our place among the stars. However, we can only guess how much energy is actually contained in the vacuum. With legendary physicists in fierce disagreement on this point, Richard Feynman and John Wheeler calculated the zero-point radiation of the vacuum was so powerful that even a small cup of it would be enough to set all the Earth's ocean to a boil. But Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity suggests zero-point radiation would gravitate spreading out throughout the universe and be migrated to a weak power. Simply put, we don't know enough about the universe to figure out whether zero-point energy or vacuum energy really is a bomblastic content of staggering power. Let's hypothesize the vacuum energy is real and it's spectacular and we could maybe one day learn how to tap into it for energy. But what would this look like and what could we do with it? Perhaps the clearest application would be the super fast space flight, the kind that could take you across the solar system in mere hours or minutes. NASA scientists have looked into developing batteries and engines which could theoretically produce a gargantum amount of energy by harnessing a zero-point energy system based on a notion in quantum mechanics called the Casimir effect. This effect is small, but if there is a way to observe and intervene with these very small-scale forces, they could work as a potential source of energy for allowing spacecraft to move through space. There have been many different groups that pitch different ideas, but perhaps the most reasonable findings have come out of NASA's Eagle Work Laboratories which claim to have successfully tested a quantum vacuum plasma thruster. This Q-thruster, as outlined by a study that passed peer review last year, takes advantage of the Casimir effect to create propulsion. In such a device, thrust is created using particles pushing off a vacuum. Nevertheless, it's not a quite clear whether this could work in a real, applicable setting nor can the paper's authors dismiss concern about experimental errors. Many more trials and routes of validation would be needed to really illustrate that a Q thruster is viable. It's a bit strange to think that centuries after the idea of an ether permitting through the world was debunked, physics has came around to say that perhaps there is a universal energy stuck in the empty space all over. It would be a mighty grand thing to find ourselves grasping at that vacuum for an unheard amount of energy. But that's all pretty far away from humanity reached for now. For the foreseeable future, it's probably best to continue banking on solar and wind as acceptable sources of energy. The origin of zero-point energy is the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, which states that for a moving particle such as an electron, the more precisely one measures the position, the less exact the best possible measurement of its momentum, and vice versa. The least possible uncertainty of position time momentum is specified by Planck's constant, a parallel Uncertainty exists between measurements involving time and energy. This minimum uncertainty is not due to any correctable flaws in measurement, but rather reflects an intrinsic quantum fuzziness in the very nature of energy and matter springing from the wave nature of the various quantum fields. This leads to a concept of zero-point energy. Zero-point energy is the energy that remains when all other energy is removed from a system. Electromagnetic radiations can be pictured as a wave flowing through a space at the speed of light. 
the waves are not waves of anything substantive but are ripples in a state of theoretically defined field however these waves do carry energy and momentum and each wave has a specific direction frequency and polarization state each wave represent a propagating mode of electromagnetic field each mode is equivalent to a harmonic oscillator and is thus subject to a heisenberg uncertainty principle from this line of reasoning quantum physics predict that all the space must be filled with a electromagnetic zero point fluctuations also called the zero point field creating a universal sea of zero point energy the density of this energy depends critically on where in frequency the zero point fluctuation ceases one of the question that generally comes in mind is that is it possible to tap zero point energy as to whether zero point energy may become a source of usable energy this is considered extremely unlikely by most physicists and none of their claim device are taken seriously by the mainstream scientist community nevertheless acid interpretation of the bohr orbit does suggest a way whereby energy might be extracted based upon this a patent has been issued and experiments have been underway at the university of colorado so guys that's all for today's video if you have learned anything new from this video then please subscribe my channel thank you